Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Uh, you know, for years, conservatives, mostly Republicans, have wrapped themselves in the flag and pretended to be real Americans while they questioned the patriotism of those who disagreed with them. Uh, most recently, Newt Gingrich excused his serial adultery by saying that it was caused because he loved his country so much. Uh, Newt, there's a difference between loving your country and trying to have sex with it. And of course we have uh, Cheney, Bush, Rove, Scooter Libby, and the rest of them who when uh, their lies about Iraq were being exposed outed a CIA agent uh, for political purposes. Now that is flat out treason. Naturally Cheney appears frequently on Fox and Rove is one of their hired hands and, and that's to be expected because see Fox is uh, currently doing business with North Korea and Fox also reported that the Kingdom Foundation funds terrorists but that has not stopped Fox from being in business with them. Well, see after years of spending money like drunken sailors and giving massive tax breaks to the rich which is responsible for most of our national debt all of a sudden the Republicans became all worried about the deficit and one of the things they blame Social Security for the national for the uh, for the deficit even though Social Security is still in the black and won't uh, be uh, running a deficit for at least 20 years and the other thing they blame is government spending. The fact is that aside from our wars, the chief driver of our deficits has been tax cuts for the rich and corporate subsidies. Now, one of the things that they did by all of a sudden being all worried about the deficit was they kept the stimulus too small in the spending area. Half of it had to be tax cuts in order for the Republicans to go along with it. Well, the tax cuts were not going to be any help, and they knew that. What was needed was spending. The tax cuts, actually we're at the point where tax cuts are actually bad for the economy. But they voted down or filibustered every attempt at job creation. And of course, they have no jobs plan themselves. They put out what they said was a jobs plan, but it didn't have any details, and all it was was more tax cuts for the rich anyway. And they insist on more spending cuts, which will be bad for the economy. While making it clear that any savings from those spending cuts will be immediately given over to the rich in tax cuts. Basically what I'm saying is this. These conservatives are guilty of economic treason. And their idea is to keep the economy down, blame it on the Democrats, Democrats, get themselves back into power, and if that happens, they will continue to hand this country over to the rich and the power and the corporations. At that point, the only way to salvage this country will be with violence. Thanks for listening.